Uh, Quintile 76. Plenty of hope for Syriza. Do you think the lack of a Cipros type leader is what keeps Occupy from making any policy electoral gains? This makes the Scottish independence vote more of a bummer. What could have been? Let me speak really quickly to this. I mean, part of the reason that this has happened in Greece is, it, and I think you can't really make a comparison to the American system, is for two reasons. Number one, as bad as things are in America in many respects, it, things are more bifurcated. Um, so you have, I mean, we hit a 10% unemployment rate during the height of the crisis. I think if you, you know, if you weeded it out and you got into more real numbers, obviously that rate would be a lot higher. But in Greece, you're talking about massive unemployment in the 30s and the 40s. You're basically talking about a country that had an imp a depression imposed on it by the Troika, uh, which is the IMF, the EU. And then a political elite that basically just said, sure, we'll impose austerity as long as we can keep engaging in massive tax evasion and kickback schemes. So you sort of had this perfect storm of austerity, neoliberalism, and old corrupt elites. And obviously all those dynamics exist in the United States, but the, the, the way that it's felt in the population is a lot more diverse and manifests in very many different ways. And then the other thing too is that, look, in Greece, there's a real left. And there is a left in the United States, but it's not really very strong, obviously, in electoral politics. I mean, Bernie Sanders is a self-identified democratic socialist, and, you know, that's great. And that's pretty much it. And then you got some genuine progressives. But Syriza is a coalition where, you know, Bernie Sanders would be to the most extreme right of what's represented in Syriza. Um, Syriza has Marxists. Syriza has anti-globalization activists. And, you know, and, and that's a constituency that gets voted for in certain European countries. On the other hand, uh, Golden Dawn finished third. So, you know, we can't idealize Europe. Uh, but the, the dynamics here are different in terms of a party like Syriza winning for a number of reasons, including the electoral system as well, obviously. But I do think that younger leaders coming out of things like the Occupy movement and really framing not just an unabashed progressive message, but really also connecting it with an uprising against elites and old systems that don't work, which is what really sort of pushed Syriza to the next level. That could happen here, and that's why we have to watch Syriza and uh, maybe uh, I uh, maybe maybe actually go and, and and visit Greece and see how this is actually playing out. So thanks for that. I am.